on Yola for a little sailboat DIY fun. Uh, I'm going to do the install on the uh, Venus OS on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a Pi 4. You don't need a Pi 4. You can use a 2 or a 3. There's different uh, images on Victron Venus OS website. Um, so it definitely doesn't require a lot of power. Um, I just used a 4 because I had one. And um, let's take a look. So here's where I decided to mount the screen. And uh, the Pi is behind it and it's mounted in this box. I have a little uh, plywood cover to go over top of this thing. I've got my GPS dongle just sitting on the top right now. And I'm actually powering it with a, uh, a little transformer off of my 110 power in the boat, just because I'm plugged into shore power. But I'm gonna change that. And so I ran a 12 volt cable here, and that goes down goes down into the engine room down here and I'll show you that and it connects it's going to connect to my power and then even the power that this thing uses will be showing up and it looks like it's using about just under half an amp. Uh, one of the viewers showed me that on this screen you can go through the dimming process and you can dim it and if you hold it it turns screen off. Uh, I never had that before, and so thanks to one of my viewers that let me know about that, and you just, there we go. Okay, it looks like you just have to pump the switch, and uh, it comes right back on. So it's got about mm, 10 different brightness levels, and it'll go up to about 10, and then it just goes right off the end, and then it's really dim. And I was using this setting when I left the boat because I couldn't figure out how to turn it off, but thanks to one of my viewers... Just hold that button and it goes off. I've got little rear earth magnets here and the plywood cover that I have just fits over the top and the magnets hold it on. If I want to get it off, I can just get it off and unscrew it to get to the raspberry. So let's have a look at the wiring. So down here, I'm under the quarter berth. You can see right here is my stove and I was leaning against the stove when I was showing you where the raspberry pie was. So all my cables come through here. They go into the engine room and I've got my Victron VE Direct connectors here. And I decided to go with these compared to the ones, the cables that I built before. The cables with the GST um, plug soldered onto the little uh, USB chip, they work okay. And I think they would be okay for a van, but in the boat, you need galvanic isolation. And so these guys provide the isolation. I've got two of them, one right here, one's for my DC shunt and the other one's for my solar MPPT charge controller. I've got my little hub up here, and I've got a LTE, a four, uh, LTE 4 dongle on this thing so that it has internet connection. So I don't have any kind of Wi-Fi in the boat. I'm in a private marina with a bunch of fishermen, and there's no Wi-Fi for me to connect to. So I had to get a little uh, SIM card, put it in this thing, and provide LTE so that I can see Venus OS from home. I'm gonna end up mounting this little uh, hub up here on the bulkhead and then get all this wires cleaned up. And then my DC wire that powers the, um, the Pi and the screen will go down in here and it'll get connected down to my uh, shunt and my DC power supply. Okay, so here's where all my power is. Got rid of the stairs and the bulkhead. And here's my start battery. And here's my power system. So I've got a power hub from Blue Sea. My battery DC, DC positive comes in here, one from each battery. The negative is over here, which is the DC shunt. You can see my DC shunt is running right now. It's connected to the power. The VE direct plug that went to the isolated uh, input that goes to OSB, Venus OS is in there. And here's my main fuses for my batteries. And I've got some auxiliary fuses up here, up to, I think, 15 amps each. So I'm using those for just indicators, lights, um, little outlets, things like that. Things that just use a small amount of power. And then the main circuit goes down to this other one here. And these connectors here are four circuits for my DC switch panel. So my DC switch panel, is up here and all of my things are connected on here and they all have breakers and right now the only thing I've got on right now is my main cabin lights and it's coming from that little 
four pole fuse block here. It doesn't use a lot of power. All of my negative goes to the negative bus. You see the negative bus is really quite big. All the negatives are all tied onto that. And they all go through the DC shunt. So every bit of power that is used by the batteries is going through that shunt and reporting it to Venus OS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take maybe this circuit or this circuit, and I'm gonna use that as the main power for Venus OS. And tie the negative onto the DC bus so it goes through the shunt. And then when everything is turned off, the only thing that'll be using power in the boat is Venus OS. And it's about a half an amp at 12 volts. Okay, so I've got my positive wire on there and my other wire is down here my little negative wire tied it onto the DC bus and typically what I've been doing is make labels here so I know what these guys are solar input that one's the anchor light so I'm gonna make a little label for the Venus little uh, industrial wire markers right on the wire and then it's got a clear window so this one here, you just write on this white window. When you put it on the wire, this clear part, it's like clear tape, ends up covering what you wrote so it never gets rubbed off. Okay, got my wire prepared in here. And I'm just gonna make a little splice here, put some shrink tube on, and we'll make the connections and then we'll button it up. I always use automatic stripper, it's much easier. You don't damage the wire. Cuts it the same every time. Same with the automatic crimper, crimps down to the right amount every time. You don't have to worry about it going loose. It won't release until it's ready. Okay, where's my cable? Make sure I'm on the right polarity. didn't feel quite right. Oh. Give it a good pull looks good then I can heat shrink the ends of this okay let's do a little heat shrink this will just keep the moisture from getting into the connection it's in the box but I really want to keep it moisture free I'll probably once I'm done with this and all the connections I'll probably put one of those little dry packages of silica gel in there you know the ones that you get in your box with your shoes it'll just fit in here okay that looks good now the only other thing I have to do is put the uh, the fuse down below and then I should be able to fire up the pie So I'll get held in by the pie. Where's my power? Is that how it was? Nope. My little power button was on top. So this thing was up top here. Okay. 
Eyes plugged in. I'll hold that up. Put my screws in. Okay, now I can get rid of this temporary cable that I had hooked up to the AC power of the boat. Can release that and get that out of the cable bundle here. I've got some teak covering to go over that, and you won't see any of that. And I just have to put the fuse down in the power supply. should start up on its own there it goes splash page electrical energy we're alive okay let's have the home screen good job let's see what we got here Okay, so it looks like I'm drawing about, well, what am I drawing? I'm drawing 17 and a half watts from my battery. DC system, I'm using 26 watts total, and that's with my house lights on. I'm getting nine and a half watts almost, eight to nine watts from my solar panel. I don't have anything else connected. We'll see what happens when we turn the cabin lights off. Okay, so none of my switched loads are turned on. So this is the power test for Venus OS. So it looks like I'm pulling 7.2 to 8 watts. Yeah, I don't think that's real. I think that's the power coming from my PV. I'm going to have to turn my PV off to see how much power that Venus OS actually draws. Looks like it's not really drawing anything. Maybe 0.1 amps. Because I'm putting 0.5 amps into the battery from the solar charge controller and I'm using 0.6. So it's using about oh, 0.5 watts. I wonder what happens when I go dim. Eh, come down a little bit. All right. Well, I think that's pretty good. Now I just have to put my cover on it, and it'll be held on with the rare earth magnets. Put my teak cover on this. I need to tie up the wires inside that quarter berth a little bit and tie up that hub. Um, and that's pretty much it for Venus OS on the boat. Okay, so what I did was I turned my PV supply off. So no more solar coming in. Only thing that's connected to the boat right now is Venus OS. Venus OS is using looks like 0.5 to 0.6 amps at 12 volts or 7.2 watts. The side says 6.8 watts. I do also have... Uh, a solar gas sniffer that is on all the time no matter what and I can't turn that off so if you come into the boat and uh, you're gonna light your stove or you're gonna light a cigarette or you're gonna do anything um, those systems have to be on 24 7 and my get propane sniffer is on all the time so I can't defeat it um, I could possibly disconnect it from the back and see what it's doing but 
Looks like Venus OS and my propane sniffer are pulling 6.8 amps all the time. Okay guys, that's it for me. Venus OS is complete on the boat. I just have to put the cover on the, uh, on the control panel and maybe put a little stain on it so it matches the teak. Put the teak, uh, little teak trim over the wires so we don't see any of that. If you like this video, give me thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, if you want to see the rest of the Venus OS build, how I did it in the beginning, um, go back and look at some previous videos. I did quite a few on Venus OS. I'm going to do one more video on Venus OS, and that is going to be like Raspberry Pi out of the box. Um, I have to figure out how to video my screen. I've seen a number of people do that, but I should be able to figure that out with Microsoft or some other piece of software. Um, so that you can see my screen on my computer when I'm programming. So that's going to be uh, Raspberry Pi right out of the box. Program it with Venus OS. Get all of this set up done. And connect the screen. All that kind of stuff. I'll do that right from scratch. A lot of people are wondering how to get Venus OS set up from the beginning. There's a little bit of magic that happens with it. And it gets connected to uh, Victron server when you flash the software. Uh, so there's some little funky nuances there to get that working, but otherwise, uh, see you next week for Dave the MMP on Yola.